Let's react to Dolly Parton's plastic surgery. Dolly Parton is a rare entity. She is a legend in both country music and plastic surgery. And she's been more open about her plastic surgery than virtually any other celebrity. She once told The Guardian in a 2011 interview, if something is sagging, dragging, or bagging, she will suck it, pluck it, or tuck it. Once I tuck, I, I'm tucked. That's it. Now, I'm not Dolly Parton's doctor, but I am a board-certified plastic surgeon. So let's break down what I think she's had done from the top down. Dolly Parton has always had high arched eyebrows. Take a look at this photo from 1977 and compare it to 2022. Her eyebrow position has not changed in 40 years. So I suspect that she has had a brow lift, but the big question is when? Between the 1970s and the 2000s, her eyebrow position doesn't appear to have changed. They appear to be elevated and in about the same position. But take a look at them between 2015 and 2019. Her eyebrows appear to be significantly arched, lifted, and higher in 2019 than they did in 2015. So I do believe she may have had a brow lift after 2015, but before the 2019 photo and she retains these elevated eyebrows in 2022. Now the most popular way to perform a brow lift is through the endoscopic brow lift approach. And this utilizes five small incisions about a centimeter or two behind the hairline. We use fiber optic scopes to basically separate the forehead skin from the underlying bone. Then we divide the muscles and the fibrous attachments along the eyebrows and we pull the brows up. Typically, we put tiny little staples in those incisions to close those incisions up. The operation takes about an hour and a half to two hours. It's usually done under a general anesthetic, sometimes under a sedation, and the recovery time is usually about two weeks or so. In 2003, during an interview with Larry King, Dolly admitted to getting her eyelids done. Here's a photo of Dolly from 1977. Now Dolly has always had a bit of a hollow upper orbit. Now our eyeballs are enclosed in a cone of bone that we call the eye socket or the orbit. And inside that cone of bone is a bunch of fat. In some people, there isn't a whole lot of fat and the eye itself can look a bit hollow, like in Dolly's case. In other people, the orbit may have too much fat and it can cause the eyelid to look puffy. If you look at this photo of Dolly Parton and Carol Burnett, you can see that they have very different upper eyelids. Dolly's, once again, is a bit hollow in the upper orbit, whereas Carol's is kind of full. Now, if we fast forward to 1983, you can see that Dolly's eyelids are starting to get a bit heavy and a bit puffy. But then if we fast forward to 1988, you can see that her eyelids are once again more open. Now, during an upper blepharoplasty surgery, we typically remove excess skin of the upper eyelid as well as some of that fat. And that can cause the eyelid itself or that upper orbit to look more hollow. So I believe that Dolly most likely had her first upper blepharoplasty or upper eyelid lift between 1983 and 1988. Now as we go forward several decades, we can look at 1995 and we can look at 2007, her eyelids, her upper orbits look about the same. But if you look at 2015 and you have to look really closely, there may be just a little bit of extra skin in those upper eyelids. Fast forward to 2022 and that skin is gone. So she may have had some tweaks of her upper eyelids between 2015 and 2022 where some of that small amount of excess skin may have been removed. Dolly Parton's surgeon is well known to be Dr. John Grossman and he's a board certified plastic surgeon still practicing in Denver, Colorado. Now every year, Dr. Grossman takes a young, new plastic surgeon under his wing to teach him cosmetic plastic surgery. And this is called the Rose Aesthetic Fellowship. Now believe it or not, way back in 2003, I applied for the Rose Aesthetic Fellowship. But instead of working with Dr. Grossman in his Rose Aesthetic Fellowship, I actually went to Beverly Hills, California to work with a top plastic surgeon there instead. But if I had actually done Dr. Grossman's fellowship, would I have actually met and maybe even operated on Dolly? I guess it's possible. Neither Dolly nor Dr. Grossman have admitted that Dolly has had her nose done. So let's see what the photographs tell us. 
Here are photos of Dolly way back in 1979 and in 1983. And these are photos of what I believe is Dolly's natural, unoperated on nose. Now let's take a look at this photo of Dolly back in the mid 1990s. And you can see that her nose looks very different. Her nose looks thinner and maybe a touch shorter. And her nostrils also look like they've been thinned out a bit as well. Now these are signs that I believe Dolly may have had a nose job between the mid 1980s and the early to mid 1990s. Dolly has great cheeks, and they've gotten a bit bigger over the years. So let's take a peek at Dolly back in 1977 with her natural, nice and full cheeks. And here she is in 2022. Dolly's cheeks have actually gotten bigger than they were 45 years ago. How does this happen? Well, the face ages in a three-dimensional fashion. Not only does our face kind of droop and sag as we get older, but we lose volume. Our face typically gets more gaunt as we age. This is not what we're seeing with Dolly, so I do believe that her plastic surgeon may have played a part in this. Well, I believe that back in the mid-1990s to the early 2000s, Dolly may have undergone injections of her own fat into her cheeks. And back at that time, it was really our only option to enhance the cheeks. But like many people, she may have now progressed to using injectable fillers. Fillers like Restylane and Juvederm that we can now use to plump up the cheeks without surgery. Her cheeks look fantastic and they help her look as youthful as she currently does. Are you like the millions of people who have a bathroom filled with half-empty bottles and tubes of skincare? They may have promised to reduce your wrinkles, lighten your blemishes, and help you feel better about your skin, but none of them actually worked. Well, I've got the answer for you. It's called Yoon Beauty. Yoon Beauty is one of the only skincare lines that combines natural and organic ingredients with the latest and scientifically proven components like vitamin C and retinol. I'm so certain that you'll love Yoon Beauty products that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. Head to YoonBeauty.com and use the coupon code 20OFF to get $20 off your first order over $99. I'll put a link in the caption below. Once you try Yoon Beauty products, I bet you'll throw away your other skincare products and start loving your skin again. Thank you for putting your trust in me. In the interview with Larry King back in 2003, Dolly did admit to getting her lips done. Now these are what I believe are Dolly's natural lips back in 1987. Well, let's now fast forward 13 years to 2000, and I believe she may have undergone some injections of either her own fat or collagen into her lips to plump them up. Back in the year 2000, those were really our only available options to plump up the lips. It's to uh, make us plump. This was before the time of hyaluronic acid fillers like Restylane and Juvederm, which are currently my top choice for lip enhancement. Now honestly, since then, it's pretty tough to tell whether she's had lip injections. And this is because her makeup and her lipstick is so well done and so camouflaging. Now if you take an up close look at these photos, and if we zoom in on them, you can see that her lips have been outlined by lipstick. Therefore, Dolly's lips aren't nearly as full today as the lipstick makes them look. Now makeup is definitely Dolly's friend, and she once admitted during an interview that she goes to bed with a full face of makeup in in case of emergency. Now this is definitely not something that I would recommend as a plastic surgeon and skincare expert. It's definitely best to wash your makeup off at night, allow your skin to breathe, and apply your anti-aging creams at that time. According to Dr. Grossman, Dolly's plastic surgeon, she's had her face rejuvenated on multiple occasions, but has not had a full facelift. Face lifts lift the lower face and the upper neck and reduce the jowls. And virtually everybody by the time they hit the age of 60 has gotten some loose skin and jowling going on. It's pretty much everybody. So one sign of a good facelift is a person who is over 60 but has a completely tight and sharp lower face and neckline. So how about somebody like Dolly who's 76? Now other than that, the best way to determine if somebody has had a facelift is either to look for scars or to look for changes that have happened over the years. So if we look for scars for Dolly, you can see that she's such an expert at makeup and hair and her wigs that you can't see her ears well enough to tell if she's had actual scars of a facelift. 
And so if we look at photos of her over the years to see, are we seeing a change in her lower face and her neckline due to a facelift? Well, her neckline looks perfect all the time. Her neckline has not changed back from the 1970s to now in the 2020s. So Dr. Grossman has mentioned that she has had some tweaks done. I believe that. I think that she has had multiple small tweaks where they may have done many facelifts to remove a bit of extra skin here or there. And this has allowed her to look so good all the time. This is basically great plastic surgery, but it is expensive plastic surgery as well. All right, here we go. You're all wondering about Dolly Parton's breasts. Well, she was once asked in an interview, are they real? And she answered, they're real expensive and they're real big. Well, everyone knows that Dolly Parton has huge breasts and that she has breast implants. And her plastic surgeon, Dr. Grossman, once said, she has a generous bosom, which I augmented many years ago. Well, it is true that Dolly Parton has naturally large breasts. Let's take a look at a photo of her way back from 1973, and you can see that her breasts were pretty good sized at that time, maybe a C cup. Now, I know that this was her natural appearance because Dr. Grossman didn't start practicing plastic surgery until 1975. Now, I suspect that she underwent a breast augmentation by 1987, because if you look at this photo of her from 1987, her breasts do look a bit larger than they did before. And I would guess that they're probably in the D cup range. Now, her chest size from 1987 is consistent with her appearance in 1985. But now look at this photo of her from 2006. Her breasts are huge. I believe she underwent a breast augmentation between 1995 and 2006, taking her from a D cup to a double D to a triple D cup in size. Her chest size persisted through 2012, but there was a rumor that in 2019 she may have undergone a breast reduction. She may have had her implants reduced in size, and it does kind of look like that may be the case. But now in 2022, they're back to being huge again, so I have no idea. While Dolly's breasts may not fit her tiny little frame, they do fit her persona, in which case it's all good for Dolly. Well, Dolly Parton isn't the only music star who's rumored to have had a bunch of plastic surgery. Britney Spears has been rumored to have undergone lip injections, breast enhancement, a nose job, and a whole lot more. So what's fake and what's real with Britney Spears? And has she been botched? Well, I cover all of that in this video right up here. So check it out for all you need to know about Britney Spears and her plastic surgery. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.